Alright, hi guys, welcome back to our video again. So what we're gonna do today is to replace this front brake rotor because it's uh, quite thin now and it's affecting the braking. So what we have done here is to lift up the bike with a standard car jack. So now we set the car jack at the center of the bike so it doesn't shake. And uh, then we start lifting the bike. I just want to make sure that it's balanced. So the front end is free from anchoring onto the ground and then we can remove this front wheel. First off, we have to remove the front wheel. Okay, and then we now take out this axle bolt. Okay, we realize that we have to remove the mark guard. To make space for the wheel to come out. Okay, so now everything is free, the spacer is out. So what's left here is this brake pad is clamped onto the disc brake because it's out of shape. So we have to pry open this. Okay, so before you do that, just make sure that you open this up. So if there is any back pressure coming up, at least it don't bust off this cap. Try the disc brake open. Okay, the last bit, okay, it's finally out. So now what we need to do is just to loosen this four bolt. Okay, all done. So this is the one that we just took out. Okay, so this is the new one. So what we can see here is that it stated the minimum thickness should be 3 mm. However, this is close to 2 mm, okay, which is very bad. Uh, this is the thick part, which is 3.5. You can clearly see that this outer ring here is thicker than the inner one because of uh, wear off. Okay, this is the new one, which is the outer layer and the inner layer are basically aligned. And if we measure them, it's 4 mm, as you can see here. So we got to put this. We already took out the wheel, so why not just take this opportunity to clean it? You don't get to access to this zip very often. Okay, so now the moment of truth, we will place this in and see if it fits the screw hole. It does. Nice. And then we will just place the bolt in place first. Okay, just want to be safe, we match the old one to check if the circumference or the diameter is the same. Okay, it's the same, it looks good. And we clean up the screws. You can see now it's all shiny. We need to lock tight it. Okay, so now we apply some lock tight onto the screw. And then we just put everything back. First, uh, it doesn't have a torque spec here. We couldn't find it and our torque range is only up to 24. So uh, we will use based on our experience to tighten it back. We will do cross bolting to ensure that it's balanced. Okay, check one more time. So we also take this opportunity to clean the inner fork because you don't get a lot of chance to reach to this area. It's also a good time to inspect your brake pad. You can still see the cutting okay, on both pads, which is good. Okay, we'll put the spacer back. Then now we got to pry open this. Okay, so our new thicker disc can fit in. Okay, just try to the extent that it has enough space to fit in. Because you don't want to blow the master cylinder here, you can see it's leaking. So now we slowly roll it in. Okay, now this is the hard part where you align the two sides together. Insert in your axle. And then hopefully it comes out on the other end. So this one I need two hands, so I will stop the camera here. Finally, it passes through. So you should come out on the other end. Then you just uh, bolt it back. Okay, the spec says it needs about 40 Newton meters of torque. Okay, back to tightening the, the master cylinder. So 
So what we need to do now is to test. So we will rotate the wheel and then, okay, try again. Okay, looks good. The last part is just to install back the front fender. The chain is a bit rusty and it needs some adjustment because it's uh, very loose. We loosen the rear wheel. Okay, then we will loosen this uh, adjuster. Okay, so what we do now is uh, we wash the chain. Then we try to clean out all the grind rust of the chain. Okay, so now it's on the one, two, three, four marking. Push it forward. So now we measure this. Okay, we move up. So just lock the second nut to dial in the setting. So basically, we just repeat this on the other side. Okay, so we will try to inspect if both sides are aligned. Okay, more or less. And once it's done, we just need to lock back the nut. Okay, just to be sure, we spin and then try to see if the rotor is straight. So inspect the chain. It's straight. Okay, and we are done. Okay, thank you for watching this video. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.